Hello everyone and welcome to another Doki Doki by Japan crate unboxing here. Oh, how I love these boxes, kind of. <laughs> I do, I like the idea of them. And uh, you know, they can be very hit or miss for me, but I think overall, I think they're fun to open up with you guys. Essentially, if you haven't seen them before, it is a monthly subscription box that you get that comes straight from Japan. I'm not sure that they have a set amount of products that come in each box. I feel like it's usually about five and it's about 30 bucks, I do believe. It's just all things kawaii or cute. I think yeah it even says so right on the box and they usually are themed the boxes. I forget what this month's theme was. I also don't feel like I saw too many spoilers on Instagram. I feel like I've been seeing more spoilers for next month's box which I'm honestly not that excited about what I'm seeing for next month's box but either way I'm excited to open this one with you guys. From what I remember there is one thing that I'm excited about even though I don't really know why I'm excited about it because I don't think I'll get much use out of it but I was still really excited. So let's go ahead, see what we have got. Okay, I see the thing, it's sitting on top, so I'm excited. Oh yeah, I think this theme is like forest adventure or something like that. Oh, I didn't realize that the forest girl was a style of dress in Japan. I mean, I know they've got all the different types of K, like visual K and fairy K, all that kind of stuff, but this looks completely different. Either way, <laughs> something fun to learn about, and this is the thing. Oh, I see so many cute things, I'm excited! But this is the thing that I was really excited about. I knew we were going to be getting a My Neighbor Totoro Bento box thing. I love Totoro. It wasn't my favorite Miyazaki film, but I do, I watched it a lot as a kid, and it's still a lot of fun. The little sprites, they're just so cute. I especially like the little white puff balls, so I am very happy. There is one on the front here. Just, just that little, you know, an onion and some foresty things, I guess. A leaf, foresty things. Uh, but yeah, it's just a little bento. It's got a little separator so you can use that. I'm not sure, this is like a, a vent? It is. Oh, does that make it so that it's like microwavable maybe? In any case, I used to use a bento almost every single day for when I was in college, you know? And it was great even for just storing snacks. And this was approved by Studio Ghibli, so that's exciting. But yeah, I really did. I would like, you know, in a little Ziploc Tupperware thing, I would put a sandwich and then in one of these, I would have like some carrots and grapes, that sort of a thing. And also, super cute, I'm so excited. I used these a lot too, <laughs> they're so, I feel like they work so much more for not American type foods, but they're these little animal picks. Uh, I mean, these are such like little cheapy things. Like you can usually get them for like a dollar, but these are so cute. Got a lion, a panda, a frog, a bunny, an elephant, and another panda. I didn't know how to say elephant before in Japanese, but apparently it's zo. Otherwise it's just lion, usagi, kaeru, and panda. Cute, cute, cute. But yeah, they're like these little fork pick things. So if anything, you know, if I had a little cherry tomatoes or even sometimes with the grapes, like. It's not like I would use the fork to eat the grapes, but you just like stick it in one of them and it's just really cute to look at. But like I said, in Japanese cooking and Japanese bentos are just so cute and fun to look at. But like I said, the little accessories don't work as great for American bento lunch cuisine. But in any case, let's see what else we got here. Oh yeah, I forgot this was coming. Oh, this looks so pretty. Oh, it's so cute. Yes, it's just a little plastic. I thought this was gonna be glass, but it's a little plastic cup with Rirakuma and Kori Rakuma and Kiro Itori and they are all watching the flower blossoms, the sakura cherry blossoms. Oh they're so cute and I like the texture on the cup. It just it looks really pretty. It says Rirakuma drawn out by the spring day Rirakuma collects cherry blossoms. Very cute. <gasps> I just love little Kori Rakuma. And these are the stuff that they do send in. These are all like Sanex official approved and that sort of a thing. So that's nice. Just, just a cute little, just a cute little cup. I don't know why I'm picturing, but you know, like watching the flower blossoms and having some wine or something in here and swirling it around, like the cheapest of wine, a good box wine. <laughs> Not that we have cherry blossoms here in Minnesota to watch. Plus it's snowing outside. So like, <sighs> Oh, Minnesota. Okay, and it looks like we've got two more things, one of which I know what it is and the other I don't. So I'm gonna look at 
dumb to think that I do know what it is. At least I think I kind of know what it is. I think it's like a camera bag or maybe it's a bag in general, but either way, it's got some kokurashi on it, which most of you all know by now is like my absolute favorite. Let's see, it doesn't say in Japanese, but it, I mean, it is Japanese, but it's Romanized Japanese, but it looks like we are at Tokage's house or tree. It's got his little name plaque on there in Japanese, but it says Tokage no Ochi. I don't know what Ochi means. Tokage's... It's Tokage's something, and in that something, they all went to go play. So then everybody in the forest, they played. Asobimashita. Oh, and look at Cutie the duty. Little Abby but I is getting a flower crown put on my tonkatsu. And it does have a print on the back where they're all playing and having a joyous little time. Oh, I love that they've got the little hokori. And oh, look at the little falling tapioca. Oh, he's so cute. And homono tokage. Oh, just are so cute. Oh, frick. I think, I think anyways, yeah, it's just a Velcro pouch sack. I would assume. Like, I feel like you would put a camera in there, right? or I would anyways. And then it's got the strap that you clip on. Cute! And then the last thing here, ooh, we have gotten something similar to this before. Oh cool, but this is specifically for, you can put it in a bento, but either way, it's to keep things cool. And this is, I have such a hard time saying his name. I always want to say Doraemon, <laughs> but that's not right. Doraemon, 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 Doraemon. I don't know. That and like the word uh, for, I don't know that it necessarily translates to convenient, but benri and then training, like kunren. I can't, the N and then the R next to each other. Kunren, I, I really, I can't say it. Benri, 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 benri. It just, it sounds so wrong when I try, but anyways. Doraemon, and he is like a super duper famous little character in Japan. Um, he's like a magical cat thing. But we got one of these that was Miko Gurashi. I got a little tokage, but yeah, it's just these little, these little balls. And uh, you put it in the freezer and it stays nice and cold. And then I guess, I guess you could put it in your bento. I don't know, your food would get all over it, but either way, cute. It never hurts to have one of these on hand. And also you could like put it next to a water bottle to keep that cool. I usually use these as like little, little ice packs. You know, keep yourself nice and cool if you wanted to bring that with you. Oh, I just love the way these squish. Let's see what they had to say about everything. Oh, I'm so jealous. <laughs> I think we all remember last month. I was very, very sad that I didn't get the marshmallow squishmallow pillow that I wanted. I wanted any out of the five except for one, and I got that one that I didn't want, but that's okay. Mr. Moo is hanging out on my bed. He's a happy little cow, but look at everyone else. Everyone else with their pictures and their cutie patooties of ones that I wanted. That's okay. That's okay. <laughs> I'm still waiting. I really hope they put those on their website because I would buy them all. But yeah, they say mythical mori, mythical forest. Forest critters awake as the leaves turn green and the flowers begin to bloom. <laughs> they say, as I watch the snow fall from the sky, <laughs> marking the arrival of spring. They say, as I watch the snow accumulate in piles on the ground. Ready yourselves with this month's crate featuring items around the theme Mythical Mori. We have curated a box of items to enjoy during a spring picnic with some of your favorite forest friends. Oh, I'm so sad! No! <laughs> I mean, really, it's okay. But apparently there was a variance on which one of these little ice packs you could have gotten were cool packs, and one of those was a pom-pom pudding! Oh, I would have loved to have gotten that one, but oh well, it, it's okay. I wonder if it kind of looks like that that was the only variant you could get. We have got the Totoro Bento Box. Enjoy a delicious picnic lunch with the beloved forest friend Totoro. Make yourself a themed bento. The vent on the lid can be removed to let steam out when microwaving or cooling your meal. I thought so, cool. None of my bento boxes that I own are that fancy. Then we've got the Rirakuma Sakura Cup. Celebrate the cherry blossom season with this pretty cup. They are ready to go on your very own sakura viewing picnic. And they say this is a purse, a sumiko gurashi purse. Head into the woods in fashion with this adorable purse. 
It's got the gang collecting apples in a lovely fairy tale forest. And like I said, there is the Sanrio ice pack. Whether you're trekking through the forest or enjoying a day at the park, the Sanrio ice pack is sure to keep your lunch and snacks nice and fresh. And then animal food picks make your lunch extra exciting with these forest friends. Stick one in your bento as an easy lunch pick and a perfect pop of color. And just eat for cuteness. Oh, this would have been a cute sticky crate to get. So they do every month have a sticky crate. One lucky subscriber to Doki Doki Crate gets that. And it looks like this month you would have gotten a cinema roll bottle, which looks really cute. A My Melody pouch, some Kogurashi chopsticks, along with a bento box. So cute and floral. I love that Rirakuma backpack. It's all nice and fuzzy. And you would get a rabbit Rirakuma plush. Oh, cute with little Totoro nesting dolls and a cushion and then a My Melody Sakura plush. So congrats to whoever won that. And yeah, thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. Like I said, I wasn't like super duper excited about the stuff, but I actually am like super happy with the stuff that I got. You know, I will absolutely use this cup. It's beautiful. I will add the bento to my collection of little bentos. I say collection, I have like two. <laughs> I will absolutely use this little purse. I could see myself every year going to the 4th of July parade and just bringing this so that I can just stick my camera and like some cash and my ID in there. Super easy to carry around. The picks are really cute. And then Doraemon. I mean, it's always good to have extra ice packs. So there we go. Like I said, I hope you enjoyed the video. Let me know down in the comments below what of this stuff was your favorite. What do you wish you could have gotten? Or if you do get this as well, this crate, let me know if you got any variants or different products than me. I love hearing about that too. You can also let me know if you enjoyed the video by giving me a thumbs up down below. I would really appreciate it. And if you are new here, hey, hi, hello, how are you? You can go ahead and subscribe. You can typically tap that notification bell down below. Become a member of my casserole family here on this channel or my main channel. I'd love to have you here, there, and everywhere. And as always, I just hope you guys are all doing well. And until next time, just stay well until then. Bye!